Hi, in this video we're going to look at just how easy it is to make your PowerPoint videos speak to your audience using speakeasies. And in this first slide here, I've just inserted a speakeasy animation character, and let me show you what it does. And you can see it's just moving its mouth as if it's speaking. And let me delete that slide to get it out of the way. And to make your slide speak, this, this is all you have to do. Just go up to Insert, Pictures and select the uh, animation you want to use. Then go back to insert, go to audio, audio on my PC, and select the audio file you want to use in your slide. Now to get audios to play, you need to click on it, and if the window isn't open, click on playback, click hide during show, and then select to play automatically. And that's it, and let's take a look at it now. Once again, Decoder Ring Theater presents another page from the casebook of that master of mystery, that sultan of sleuthing, Martin Bracknell's immortal detective, Black Jack Justice. And you can see how he gives the impression that he's actually doing the, the talking. And it's really easy to do, but let's add another real cool effect. And I'm going to duplicate the slide by right-clicking on it, and then selecting Duplicate Slide. And now what I want to do is I want to delete the audio on this slide and I'm going to insert the still image that goes with this. So now I have the still image on top of that and I'm going to right click on it, click send to back. Now I have two images here so let me just move this top one out of the way and you can see the second one. And this top one is now the animated image so I'm going to delete it and that leaves the still image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to Transitions, and I'm going to set this to 2 seconds. And you can set this to however long you want. Just for this example, I'm going to use 2 seconds. So what's going to happen is, for this first slide, the speaking animation is going to play, and this slide is going to play just as long as this audio file plays. If this audio file is 20 seconds, this slide will play for 20 seconds. If the audio file is 15 minutes, the slide will play for 15 minutes. PowerPoint syncs it automatically for us. So this slide will play for the length of this audio file, and then it will switch over to the still image, and it will play this slide for two seconds, or however long we set up here. And then after two seconds, it will switch to this end slide. And let's take a look at it. Once again, Decoder Ring Theater presents another page from the casebook of that master of mystery, that sultan of sleuthing, Martin Bracknell's immortal detective, Black Jack Justice. Here's some real simple techniques you can do to give your videos a lot of visual variety using your PowerPoint speakeasy characters. And the first thing we're going to do is a real simple thing. We're going to flip our characters, and to do that you just double click on it, and you come up to Format if it's not open, and make sure Format is open. Go to Rotate, and flip Horizontal. And let me repeat that a few times here real quickly. And again. And this may seem real simple, but it can have some pretty cool effects. And the first thing is, just by flipping and repositioning and resizing your characters from slide to slide, you can give your videos a lot of variety, which will help increase your viewer retention on YouTube and make your videos a lot more interesting and appealing visually. And here we have the image Arnie, and he's positioned one way here. And if we flip to another slide, you can see how... He changes positions, and you can do this real simple from slide to slide to give this effect of him posing. And we can add this to, with another image of Arnie, and you can see how we can get him like he's flexing to show power, might, muscles, that type of thing. And just by alternating slides, you, you can have a lot of different poses there. And of course, the next thing is to resize and reposition. And the reason I made these animations so big is so that you can scale them and still maintain high quality. You wouldn't be able to do this and, and resize this image this large with the typical uh, smaller animation. It just wouldn't look right. And so now you can see here you can create, he, he would talk in this video, and you can create a slide with him here just by resizing and repositioning. And here's the same with Milton. And let's go ahead and let's double click on him. Go to Format, Rotate, flip horizontal, and I'm going to move him down to the corner and resize him real big, and let me move him back down. And you can see here, here's how he is normally, and by putting him here, he takes up the whole portion of this screen over here, and 
you write your text or, or add clip art, props, that type of thing, scenery. And you can see how this is just totally different using the same basic Milton image. And you can do this with all of them. Thanks and see you in the next video. Bye.